So we have a pretty good idea of how data moves around in Meteor, uh, how it interacts with templates, and now we're actually going to add a login system to Meteor. We only need to add the accounts UI package and the accounts password package, which allows password authentication. Meteor has a bunch of account packages, Facebook, GitHub, Google, Meetup, password-based authentication, Twitter, it's really all there. I've even written a Trello smart package so you can log in with Trello. Okay, so let's add those packages. There, so we've added the packages and we'll see that our application is still the same thing as it was. We need to do one more thing. We need to add the login buttons. This isn't actually a template. It's just a helper method that you get to call and Meteor will inject a bit of functionality into that area. And there, now you can see that we have a sign in button. As well as we get the functionality for creating accounts, forgot password, and a whole bunch of other things. We'll just use a test email. So there, we're actually logged in as a user that can log out log in and do all the expected actions that an authentication system would provide. Meteor also provides us a user's collection. In addition to that, we also have meteor.user, which is the current user. You also have access to the user ID. These are important to know about in Meteor because you'll use them from allow deny rules to remote procedure calls. It's really important to know that you have an authentication system packaged into Meteor that plugs into all the different parts. Let's go take a look at what that would look like with a remote call procedure, a Meteor method. So let's change this remote call procedure to actually use the authenticated user rather than a passed in name. We'll get rid of the argument because we're going to be using the currently logged in user. We'll get rid of this code as well. So first we need to find the user. We'll do that by using Meteor's users collection and find one, which will find a single record based on an ID. So we'll give it this user ID, which is the logged in user. So now we have a user object. We can grab its email. Users have many email addresses, but we're just gonna grab the first one because that's all we really have. And we'll pluck its address. And now we just need to call it. So we use Meteor call again, except this time we no longer have the name argument because we're going to be using a logged in user. And there, you can see that the Meteor call itself returns nothing. There is no error. And the message comes back as test example says hello.